Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jay Pluzik. And I'm Elise Pellegrino. And this is The Buzz with Talk of the Town, bringing you all sorts of entertainment news. And guys, to be with you, I'm not doing so well right now. What's wrong, Jimmy? Well, it's just like, I just heard that Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan, after being married for eight years, just got a divorce. I know, it's so upsetting. Especially with their little baby, Everly. Oh, oh. my gosh, so cute. I loved them when they were on Step Up, and that's how they fell in love. It was such a true love story, but since Channing Tatum is now single, I'm gonna like slide into his DMs, hopefully, you know, let's of get course, together yeah. in the future. <laughs> I mean, if there's anybody who has a chance at getting with Tatum, this girl right here. <laughs> so it's crazy to see these two guys break up. You know what else is really, really crazy? What's crazy? Black China freaking out at the Six Flags amusement park. Did you hear about this? Yes, I actually did. I actually saw a video on Twitter, her singing, I'm um, swinging one of those like little cars yeah. at some guy and I'm like, what is going on here? And he was there, she was there with like her kid. I know. I don't, I personally don't know the whole situation. So. Well, I saw the video and it seemed to be just kind of like out of the blue, just like an altercation. It was very white trash, I'll say, which is not something you do. Like, I don't know much about Black China. What have you heard of her? Um, I just know that she is some lovely exotic dancer that yeah. had a baby with Kylie's ex-boyfriend, Tyga, mm -hmm. and has a baby with um, Rob Kardashian. And he apparently is paying for child support, but she has so much money like so much more money than him, so it's kind of like crazy how that all works out. But you know who I think would make a great mother? Who? Cardi B. Why do you say that? Because we have rumors that Cardi B is pregnant. Isn't that crazy? I know, um, I just remember these rumors coming out the other month saying that she's not fat, um, she's not pregnant, she's just eating a lot and food is actually really good for you. Mm -hmm. So I hope Cardi B is being a bad boss and going to Coachella and rocking that pregnant stomach and being like Beyonce at the VMAs that one year. So, and did you hear she recently released her new album? Yeah, Invasion of Privacy. And this kind of ties in because people are asking her about the pregnancy and mm -hmm. she's like, I can't, I don't want to tell you about that. That's <laughs> private stuff. If you want to know more about it, listen to my album about privacy. Mm -hmm. And that right there, theme, okay? Bringing your career into your life, I like that. We're behind you, Cardi B. We love you. you so go, girl. This is your year. Two very special people who are dating uh, now are Sean Mendez and Haley Baldwin. Have you heard about this? Yes, I actually have. Um, so as everyone knows, Sean Mendez is the younger version of Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. You know, he got the hair, he's got the music, he's got Haley Baldwin. So it's pretty much like he's just copying him in some way. Of course. So other than that, people who are showing a lot of love to each other is Demi Lovato and Kaylani. So recently, Demi Lovato's um, Tell Me You Love Me tour finished in the United States and Kehlani is one of her opening acts. So Demi, um, and Demi's like... She was just like singing, she was, she was up like on the singing, stage. And like, she's in a bed the whole time in sexy lingerie and all of a sudden Kehlani comes up and surprises her on stage and Demi is like kind of giving her a little sexy dance. Yeah, I was, told, I was told they kissed. Really? Like on stage, just completely unprompted, unscripted, just like really sharing the love and energy. <laughs> Allison Stoner has apparently come out of the closet. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this? I say go for it. Everyone needs to realize who they are. Mm -hmm. I remember hearing about how she felt like since she was a Disney star, she couldn't show off her true self. Mm -hmm. um, and she actually was fell in love with one of her dance teachers and was like, this is who I am. I want the whole world to know who I am instead of like hiding because like you can't, you have to show who you are or else you, you'll kind of go crazy. Yeah, you go girl. And we just wish her the best luck and we wish her, we wish all these other people, The Weeknd, Cardi B on their music careers. Going back to music, I want to talk about the latest musical virus, viral sensation. Oh my gosh, yes, Yodo Boy from Walmart. Oh my gosh. The funny thing about that, when I first watched that video, I recognized the song. Like he's singing Don McLean's um, Love Sick Blues. Ever heard of that guy? No, but I did not know he was singing a song. I've only seen like a two second clip and I'm like, is that guy screeching at something? <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it's something. It's the most Southern song written by the most Southern man, sung by the most Southern boy in Walmart. I but like, how'd you feel about the singer? Like, did you? He, um, I actually heard another song he was singing. He's mm -hmm. actually a very cute little kid. 
and the Yodel song he was singing apparently is going viral with a lot of memes yeah. and a lot of remixes. So go check them out because I'm pretty sure you'll get lit from them. It's like everybody's talking about him, and we just if he wants to do a musical career, our hearts go out to him. He's got the stuff. So anyway, guys, that's it for the buzz. That is what's happening in the world of entertainment. We're so glad you stuck around to hear us out. Uh, be sure to tune in next time. Um, follow us on our Twitters and our Instagrams. At SGTV at USC. Of course, of course. And so, once again, I'm Jimmy P. And I'm Elise P. And this has been The Buzz.